more than 40 years? No. No? no. How Thir long? 36. 36 years? Yes, 36 years. When and how did you come here? No, I was in India already. I've been in India for 46 years. Oh, yes. What were you doing before? That? I was teaching in Rajgat school in Benares, uh -huh. Krishnamurti school. I see. And then I'm, I met Mahi. I didn't know about her in Europe. Uh -huh. I've never been out of India for 46 years. Oh, you've been in India 46 yes. years? Yes, since never went back July, to July 1935. I arrived in Bombay. Since uh -huh. then, I've never left India. I see. Why? It, it was like that. You see, first I was to go back. Mm -hmm. I had a two years contract, mm -hmm. but I didn't like to go back. Then I said, um, I'll work another year. They, they would pay my journey back, you see. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't want to go. I want to come back again. So I was going up to three years. That was 1938. Mm -hmm. Then Hitler was uh, had come to Austria, Austria. you see. Mm -hmm. And my people wrote to me, don't come, don't come. It is they were Dangerous. afraid, yes. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go, and that was the end. And after that you... I never left India. India. No. What have I have you... Not been when out. did you meet uh, Ma first? I what met Ma experience? first in 1943. I see. Mm. And what was um, your first uh, well, meeting with her? I, I met her in Almora. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a Danish sadhu there. His name is Suren Sen. Do you know him? Sorensen. And he um, he said, um, you should meet um, Anand, my ma. And so I went there once and I met her. But I was very critical, you see. So I was... Uh, then there was no ashram in Almora. Mm -hmm. I was sitting outside on a court somewhere and I thought she looks very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, But I... I didn't know very much Hindi. I could speak Hindi, but not too much. Mm -hmm. And there were no books then mm -hmm. of Mars. There was only one book, Satvani, mm -hmm. and that was also not available. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, she looks very beautiful, but uh, I was very skeptical. You were skeptical. Yes. You were critical. I was critical but by when nature. Did you, when did and you... Then I, uh, then I met her again after several months in Benares. Mm -hmm. I was in Benares working, mm -hmm. and um, there, then, then also there was no ashram in Benares, but they had chosen the plot, mm -hmm. and there was under a, under a pandal they had kirtan, and um, I went there with some, there was some Frenchmen, mm -hmm. in, and I went, and they said, we are going to see Anand, why don't you come with us? So I said, okay. So I went there and there was a huge big crowd and I was feeling very shy. Everybody looked at me because, you know, there you were different. I and it was two European dressed in Indian dress and I was in a, in a European dress. Mm -hmm. So, but I couldn't get out of the crowd. Mm -hmm. And then, then there was a, a, the mother of one of my pupils, I was teaching in the school. She saw me and she came straight to me and she got hold of my hand. Mm -hmm. And she took me straight to Ma, oh. right there. And okay. everybody was looking, naturally. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't do anything. I had to follow her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then she put me right there, just like you, you sitting there. Mm -hmm. And then I felt some, I felt something. You and did? I felt, yes, Ma was not ordinary. That Even though was you some, were so critical? Yeah, I was very critical. But I felt that there was something very special uh -huh. that time. And, um, but then I... Uh, I said, um, my remembered me. I said, I have seen you before in Amor. I said, yes, I remember you. She remembered yeah, you? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Ma remembers everything. Yes. She remembered me. Mm -hmm. And um, well, yeah, I sat for some time, and I couldn't get out, you know. There was so much crowd and all that. So I sat for some time, and then, then I left again. And uh, then I had a sort of, I had an impression then that there was something very special. And uh, like that it went very slowly till 1945. I, I met her again in Almora the next summer. And then in 1945 um, she was in Benares, staying in Sarnath, mm -hmm. in Buddha's place. And. Um, there was an Englishman 
it was the man who owned this Gopal, but he died, uh-huh. you see, afterwards in 1949. And uh, he, he had come in search of spirituality to India, mm-hmm. and he had met many people. Mm-hmm. And um, he, when he came to Benares, mm-hmm. I asked him, why did you come to Benares? His guru was in South India. Mm-hmm. One uh, Atmananda was his name, it was on Sri Krishna Menon. I said, your guru is in Tibandam, why did you come to Benares? He said, one of the reasons is that I have heard that there is one very great woman saint, mm-hmm. and I have, heard, I have seen her picture, mm-hmm. and she attracts me very much. So I told my guru, and he said, yes, go and meet her. Mm-hmm. So I, he showed me the picture, I said, this is Anand my mom? He said, yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. So I said, I think she may be in Benares. Mm-hmm. And there is one teacher who goes to see her. So I found out and he said yes. So this man went, uh, to, that was on the other side, our school was on one side of the same side of the Ganges, but one end of Benares and this was the other. So uh, he went there in the morning and he never returned till late at night. And I, so next day I said, where have you been all day? Oh, he said, I have met something extraordinary, I have never seen anyone like this. Mm-hmm. And he was a very critical person, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, the best was not good enough for him. Mm-hmm. And he said this, so I naturally was very impressed. He said, I said, how can you know in one day you can't even talk to her? He said, oh, I have met all the, he had been to Raman Maharshi to this Krishna Menon and in Yoga Swami in Ceylon, and he had been to all the great people, Sri Aurobindo, and he said, I have never seen anything like this. There is no ego whatsoever. Mm-hmm. I said, how can you know? By her, by her look, by her walk, by her movement, everything shows it. There is nobody like her. Mm-hmm. So naturally then I got very interested. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. I thought if this man who, oh, is, he was speaking about Tagore, Tagore, that is our second grade. He was speaking about everybody like mm-hmm. this. So I, then I became very interested. So then um, Mataji came to Saranath, you see, and um, still I did not go. And this man went to Saranath to, no, he went to Saranath to see one uh, monk from Ceylon who had been his friend there. He had been in a monastery in Ceylon. And, um, and he didn't return for three, four days. And um, there was then no telephone in Sarnath, and it was all wanted to walk and all this. And there was um, there was a cholera case in our School? compound. Like yes, compound. one servant's quarter. And so I said to the principal, you know, he hasn't come back for three, four days. He, he must be ill. He went away. I saw him. He had nothing with him. He had not taken a change of clothes, and he was coming back. So then I, she said, you better take a rickshaw and go to... So I took a rickshaw and went to Sarna. And I found him sitting very happily there with the monks. I said, what's the matter with you? How did you say you have no change of clothes? Oh, he said, I, I met Ananda Ma here, and she, she started to ask me some questions. And then now we have been discussing every day. All alone, you know, that time there were no people. Yes. And there's a garden and there's a very good translator here. That was the cousin of Didi, Guru Priya Devi, yes. Jitin Mukherjee. Mm-hmm. And he's excellent. He knows what Ma says and also his English is very good. So I've been discussing with her. But now I've nearly finished. I'm coming back tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So then, you see, I got very interested. Then I also met Mataji then, and then I used to walk every every night after school. Mm-hmm. It was about, I think, five miles. I, mm-hmm. I used to walk, well, it was by rickshaw nine or ten miles on the road. Now they have made a road there where I walked, but at that time there was no. So I, uh, I walked by footpath mm-hmm. and every evening. And then I stayed there. She was on the roof of the Radharma Sala. I stayed there for the night. And I walked back early morning. So then I made contact with Ma. And, um, and then I talked to her for the first time. Then this man said, 
um, don't you want to talk to me? I said, no, I have nothing to say. Then every day, he said, I'm leaving for, uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh, I said, all right. So then finally I said, every day I came, he was always there. I said, do you have no, but tomorrow I'm leaving. And then at last I said, all right, I will talk to her. And then I had a talk late at night mm -hmm. with her and he translated. And um, then, of course, um, you see, I asked, I, I found that she, by, by a few words, exploded my problem, you see. I see. Yeah. I asked her something and... You were looking for a solution to a problem? Yes, yes, I was. And she just, uh, uh, it was so simple that I thought, how is it that I didn't find it out for myself? Mm -hmm. But I couldn't, mm -hmm. you see. And uh, then I made real contact with her. But Ma, you see, she doesn't, she waits. Mm -hmm. All this time she Did knew, you of prepared? course. She knew it, of course, mm -hmm. but she waited. And uh, then after I had this talk, then I had another talk the next day, next morning, and then this man left. And then I um, took to Ma, of course, very much. And then you started living with her? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. I was at school for nine more years. And after that you yes. went to Ma? No, I... I used to go to her very yes, often. During the holidays and No, that. also, she used to be in Benares, you see, the ashram was then being yes, built, and yes. part of it was already built, and Ma would be in Benares four or six months in, in a year, mm -hmm. at intervals, you mm -hmm. see. And I was at school, and whenever she came, but it was, it was five miles from, it was in Asigat, and my school was in Rajgat, so I went to rickshaw, and I used to go every night and stay overnight and go back in the morning. Mm -hmm. So then I saw very much, more than oh, now. Yes, <laughs> yes actually, and then there were not so people. many people. Mm -hmm. No, now I don't go near at all, mm -hmm. because, you know, there's such a crowd. Are you able to go and see this Not children? now. No? No. No, when, when, for instance, here in April we could go, of course, mm -hmm. two, two, three times a day. When she's really in seclusion, then no, you don't. No. And then when you started living with her as... That was much later. I, nine years later? Yes, in 1954, uh -huh. I resigned my school work. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I went to... and stayed for in Benares for two years. Uh -huh. And then I came to Dehradun. I see. And then did you start traveling around with mom? Yes, already when I was at school. I was always with her. All my holidays, you know, in school you have three months, three and a yes. half months of holidays. Mm -hmm. Summer holidays, two months, I stayed with her. I went to Solan, to Almora, wherever she went. Wherever she went, she went to yes. And, and now, then, you know, there are the holidays in yes. between, three mm -hmm. days and eight days and mm -hmm. like this. And then I left school, you see. Then I... Uh, no, I left because I then... I started doing translation of mass words, you I see. see. And From I, Bengali to English? Yes. I learned Bengali specially for that. For that, that. is a, Mass miracle at that uh -huh. age, you know, yeah. to learn. How old are you now? I'm 77. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, so then I learned, first I learned Hindi when I came yes. to Ma. Then I could talk to her, yes. and um, she never said learn Hindi, but mm -hmm. I felt very much, you see, that man translated well, but I wanted to know what Ma said really. Yes. So I learned Hindi all my free time. Mm -hmm. I was teaching at school whole afternoon. I used to sit over my Hindi books I and I learned Hindi. And within one year she called me and she said, you can say. I said, I, I can't, don't know. Enough. Yes, yes, you know. Uh -huh. And somehow I did it. You did it. Yes, and so she encouraged me. She never said learn or anything. She doesn't do that, you mm -hmm. see. And then... She just suggests in her uh, own way. And then they started this uh, Anandwarta, they wanted... Yes. And they said, you do it. I said, no, it can't be done from Hindi. Mass Hindi is not so... You know, yes. Mass speaks Hindi, but it's not so good. Yes. Bengali is very, very, very good. good. Mm -hmm. So I... Then I learned Bengali. Mm -hmm. And... Um, well, then they asked me to do this work and... So I, I did all the translation. And not now, could you tell in a few words, what are your feelings about Ma, your own personal? My feelings? Yeah. <laughs> what can I see? You've been with her for so long. Yes, I've been with her for very long. It's true. 
Now not so much, before more, of course. But no, you see, now I don't need to go to her so much, really. Now the people crowd around her after so you many really years. Received she, her. Yes. You have received her, yes. and she's within you. I feel that, yes, yes. of course. And you, you see, when I her? do her, when I do this work also, I feel her very much. When I do her, I do the translation and also I edit articles about her and all this. So I'm busy with her the whole time. You are still doing that work? Yes. The articles? Yes. I am the editor of this magazine in English. In English. Yes, I can. I'll show you a copy. I've yes. got some here. Yes. So I am always busy. Except, of course, my own housework I do, but otherwise I do nothing else but this. So I feel, I feel, you see, that uh, there is, really, there is nobody like Ma. She's, um, I have been with Raman Maharshi mm -hmm. once for six weeks. Gotcha. Yes, and before that I was, I was a theosophist from mm -hmm. my, Oh. See, 17th year. I see. Yes, in Austria already. Already? Yes. And then I... I was in India before, once in 1925. Yes, oh. I came for the Theosophical uh, Jubilee. Uh -huh. Yes, for the... Then was, you went back? Yes. I came for three months, mm -hmm. and um, I was only in South India, in Adyar, Madras. Yes. And um, then I went back. Mm -hmm. But I was very attracted by India always. But at that time I didn't, I was offered this job in the school also then, but I didn't want to stay, no. But, but then Ma, ten years you? later I came. Mm -hmm. Then I didn't know Ma at all, yes. of course. I didn't know anything about her. At that time, when I came first in 1925, there she was in Dhaka and yes. she was quite unknown. Yes. But you were going to say what you feel about her now? <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> Maybe it is difficult to explain, really. There's no... What can, I, what can you say, what you feel about Ma? <coughs> my, my voice is hoarse now. I've already told you, there is nobody like her, you see. I... For you, she is the... She is, yes, definitely. No, I was uh, very, very impressed by Raman Maharshi, mm -hmm. you see. And in fact, I stayed there on my holidays in 1942. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back to my school, I didn't want to work anymore. I said, I'm going back to Tiruvan mm -hmm. And I resigned my job mm -hmm. and I, I made all arrangements and I said, I'm going to stay there. And the police wouldn't let me because mm -hmm. I'm Austrian by yes. birth. You see, I was an enemy alien. Mm -hmm. And then I was very upset. I had to go back to Banas. Well, he said, no, you, do, you must stay here. It was war, you see. Mm -hmm. And then I met Ma after that, you see. And Ma enveloped you in the war. Yes. And then I felt that this, this was... Otherwise, I was very keen to go there, but no, afterwards I saw that this was much better for me. So then I, I took to Ma after that very much. And... Um, Thank you. Now will you play? Can you play it? What I said? So, uh, Martin, sorry. Can you go back? Atmanandaji, I find that most of the European ashram vasis are wearing white clothes. You are possibly the only one I've noticed wearing orange, Bhagwa. And uh, tell us something more yes. about your no, name. No, there's also Vijayanand. There he is wears, Yes. Uh -huh. Vijayanand, he's, he wears also this dress. Now, I, of course, um, Ma gave me the name already as soon as I met her. She said, I must give you a name. And then, but she didn't call me straight away Atmananda. Oh, what did she was Ram Naomi. Ram Naomi. Ram Naomi, you know. So yes. she said, "What shall I call you? Uh, will you be Ram Dasi or Ramanandi?" Mm -hmm. I said, "Whatever you call me." Then we, used, we we called a little while. She said, "No, you say." I said, "No, I won't say." And finally, I said Ramananda. Ram so she said, "Acha, I thought you wanted Anand." 
And so then I was Ramanand for her. Then I came to her, that was in summer. Then I came to her in Diwali, in Vindachar. Then I stayed to, there for the first time. And suddenly she said, I must change your name. Again. This name doesn't suit you. Mm-hmm. It does, but you don't understand. You think Ram was a particular person. Ram means Anand. So it does suit you, but, but I will call you Atmananda. That's better for you. So since then I'm Atmananda. So you got that. Yeah. Yes. And when but did you get your... My clothes, you see, in, it was in Hardwar, uh-huh. in Bagat House on the other side, gotcha. Karkari. Mm-hmm. We were staying there for the, there was Kumbh Mela, very big Kumbh Mela in 19, I think 1962. Uh-huh. And uh, Ma asked somebody, uh, there many people were given sannyas and this, mm-hmm. and Ma asked somebody, will you take? And they said, he was not willing. And I said, Ma, I can take sannyas. I said, Acha, all right. Then she, she said, um, she said, she gave me an alkala. You know what an alkala is? Yes, a rope. And, and she said, all right, you, you get um, jogi alkala, mm-hmm. not gerua. She won't allow Europeans to wear gerua, Acha. only jogi. Mm-hmm. You get jogi alkala, don't tell anyone, dye it, mm-hmm. and on that particular day, you know, it is called um, 13th of April, what do you call it? 13th of April. 13th of April is uh, um, uh, Vesaki. No, ha, Vesaki, but it has got another name also. Well, it doesn't matter. It's, um, Akshat. Uh, Akshat. No, that's no. Is it? No, it is something else. It doesn't matter. Same day when everybody takes sannyas, Divi Ma took sannyas in 1939 mm-hmm. on that day, and it's very. So then she said on that day, you bathe in the Ganges mm-hmm. and you don't wear your other clothes anymore mm-hmm. and now you wear this. So from that I am wearing, yes, and from that you day. And you uh, and Vijayananda Ji are the only And later, Ma, once later, Ma gave Vijayananda this color. She gave him a cloth of this color and she said to wear this. But Ma doesn't, Ma wants the Shastra to be obeyed verbally mm-hmm. and she does no cloth for Europeans to be given sannyas in the Shastras. So Ma won't give sannyas. But she's given you the... Yes. The color, she said, the name you have already got, and you wear this now. But and you give me all your old clothes. And, and then the sannyas is of the mind, isn't it? <laughs> so that is how it is. Yes, of course, sannyas is, is an inner thing. It's an inner thing. Uh, Even if uh, outwardly... Oh, it doesn't matter. You needn't wear. Subject, but you know, it helps. I like it very much because because people look at me in a different way. You mm-hmm. see, it's very helpful. Mm-hmm. People don't expect when when you wear ordinary dress, it's just they'll invite you for parties and all. Okay. But this they don't. They do. You see, they look they at you quite alone. yes. And they the moment they look at you, they think of God. God. That also. Yes. You see, everybody does like this, mm-hmm. or some people now touch my feet, which I don't like. But you see, everybody immediately yes. seeing so, this color, yes. it, is, it helps everybody. Mm. People say that it's useless, it's ridiculous. Why, why must you show mm-hmm. what you are? Mm-hmm. You can be same and white. That is true. Mm-hmm. And also it's very much easier to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So,